Hey everybody, this is Fulio of Echele Porras Productions, and today we're gonna show you guys how to make some awesome aguas chiles. Let's get started. Today we're gonna be making both aguas chiles rojos and verdes, red and green. So for ingredients, obviously we're gonna be using some shrimp. Here we have two pounds of large shrimp that have been peeled and deveined and I went ahead and cut them in half so that we have a lot more shrimp for our aguas chiles, especially since we're gonna be dividing it in between both the red and the green. We're also gonna be using some scallops that have just been thawed. Traditionally, you probably wouldn't use these, but we're gonna put them in anyways. Now, the big difference in aguas chiles verdes versus rojos are gonna be the chiles you use. So for our aguas chiles verdes, we're gonna be using some serrano peppers and our aguas chiles rojos are gonna be using habanero peppers. And other than the chiles, the rest of the ingredients are gonna stay the same between both dishes. So we're gonna be using some red onion, some cucumber, cilantro, avocado, some garlic, and lots of lime juice. So let's move on and prep our veggies. So for our chiles, we're not gonna do much. We're gonna keep them whole because they're gonna get blended in the blender, so they'll be broken down in there. For our cucumber, we're gonna get it and cut it on a diagonal. And we're gonna continue getting slices at this angle so we have some nice garnish and there's more surface area. Now, you can use your knife if you wanna go nice and slow, or you can use a mandolin and you can get these cut up pretty fast. nice and thin slices. And it's right about here where you have to decide whether you want to continue slicing that on the mandolin, probably slicing your finger, or you toss it, you eat it, you do whatever you want with it. And to save on having to slice all of this on camera, I did a whole bunch off camera. And we're gonna use these in addition to what we just did move on now for your red onion you can do the same as the cucumber you're gonna cut it in half and then you're gonna get very thin slices so that when you put it in the limon chile mixture it can suck up some of that juice as well and have a nice really tangy bite again got a whole bunch cut up already but we're gonna show you half of this one on the mandolin just so we have a bit more since we're technically doing two servings anyways so with your onion you're gonna want to cut it in half lengthwise and you're going to want to cut off the root end and that end as well take off your paper you'll get possibly thinner slices and a lot more uniform slices when using the mandolin if you don't have this one just use your knife and you put those skills to work there you go onion so we got our cucumbers and our red onions ready for the next step, which is gonna be getting your lime juice, your chiles, your cilantro, and your garlic into the blender and pulsing that up. So let's get to it. We're gonna start off with our aguas chiles verdes. So we're just gonna to toss in our serranos. Serranos. Next, we're gonna get our cilantro and give it a rough chop. Again, you don't wanna put in your cilantro hole because then it could get strung around your blender blade. Let's put that in. And now you're gonna put in the garlic. Uno, dos, tres. And for our aguas chiles verdes, we're gonna be using a cup and a half of lime juice. Pour that in. And then you're gonna add salt to taste. And you can adjust it up or down from there because you can always add salt and take it out. Put your lid on and let it do its work. And once you've blended it sufficiently, you gotta give it a taste. <coughs> Woo! Those gonna come out good. Like I said, if you need to tone it down a little bit, you can use either less chiles or you can use something milder like a jalapeno. But this dish, you want it spicy. You want it to burn your butthole a little bit. Just a little bit. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna get our shrimp, we're gonna get our cucumber, our red onion, and we're gonna get our aguas chiles verdes ready, and then we're gonna move on to the habanero ones. So, to get your aguas chiles ready, we're gonna start off by putting a bed of the cucumber, half of the shrimp that we have, 
spread that out, top that with about half your onion. So we have our cucumber, some of our cucumber, and half of our shrimp with a good amount of red onion mixed in. And now we're gonna pour over our lime, chile, garlic, salt mixture, and cilantro. Pour that over. That was actually a perfect amount for this container. We're done with our aguas chiles verdes. So now you're gonna put this in the fridge and you're gonna let this basically cure for about 15, 20 minutes. And then we're gonna get started on the mixture for our aguas chiles rojos. Let's do it. All right, for our aguas chiles rojos, we're gonna do basically the same exact thing as we did for aguas chiles verdes. But as we said earlier, this time we are using the habanero. Habanero, habanero, habanero. However you say it, we're gonna be using still one because I still wanna eat both. Oh, I forgot the clams, the scallops, shit. Anyways, so we added our habanero and this time we're gonna add the stems of our cilantro. Garlic, shit. Your salt and your cup and a half of lime juice. seeing this this might turn out green too that's okay because we know it has habanero in it it was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up and like i said that turned out green too if you want it to turn out reddish oranges don't put cilantro say hey Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's strong. Lesson learned. Put in the other one. So, if you want to title your video Aguas Chiles Verdes and Aguas Chiles Rojos, make sure one of them comes out red. Let's get our containers back out and let's get this ready for the fridge. So we're gonna put these in for at least 15 to 20 minutes or as long as this next section takes for me to film. So let's put these in the fridge and let's move on. We're gonna be making a cantarito. All a cantarito is grapefruit juice, orange juice, lime juice, tequila, and some grapefruit soda, which typically squirt. So first off, a bunch of ice teaspoon and a half of some nice coarse sea salt, three ounces of grapefruit juice, three ounces of orange juice, an ounce to an ounce and a half of lime juice, let's say two ounces of tequila, and top it with your squirt. Give it a stir, and cheers. Salud, échale porras. Could use a bit more tequila though. And here they are, aguas chiles. All plated up and looking fancy. If you can see all the juices on the cutting board, ignore that. Let's try it out. And to be honest, it's not as spicy as I thought it would be. Anyways, I've been Fulio. This has been Echele Porras Productions. And today we made Aguas Chiles. Recipe is going to be hopefully in the description or on a website, depending on which one we make first. And if you make this, go ahead and tag us on Instagram at Echele Porras. Make yourself a cantarito to get some of that burn away. But as always, stay safe, stay awesome. <laughs>